Hi guys. So you are getting real life. Um, I'm not gonna go put on makeup for you guys or clothes. Um, I pretty much live in a nursing bra and don't wear makeup. I did get my lashes done yesterday and my husband thinks they're too long. So I'm gonna go back this week and get them, um, I guess clipped or yeah, clipped. I think they look great. Like I just woke up and my eyes are done, like no mascara. Um, I need to get my brows done too, but I'm really doing all this. We have our vow renewal this weekend. So I'm super excited about that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get all dolled up, but this might be a new, a new thing for me. I'm feeling it. I've gotten them done once before and I did not like them, but I think the girl was like really new at it and didn't really know what she was doing, but I really do like this. Like I woke up and my lashes were so long, so nice. Baby's over there in her swing, making noise. But yeah, um, <clears throat> most of you guys voted on my Instagram that you want to hear, <clears throat> excuse me, Farah's birth story. So if you don't know me and you're new here, Farah is my oldest daughter. It's not the one I just had. Um, Farah is four, Avery is two months, almost three months. So I plan on doing Avery's birth story also, but I kind of just want to have all of this um, on my channel for me to look back on and watch. And I just, so I was almost 40 weeks. Farrah was two days early. She was supposed to be due Listen to my dog. Oh my God. Nugget. We cannot do that, bud. Okay? You're cute, but we can't do that. So, Farah was born on March 22nd of 2016. She was supposed to be born on the 24th. Um, I was living... He's not going to stop. I was living in Fayetteville, North Carolina... My husband's military, that's where we were stationed, but I did not like the hospital on base. Nothing against you guys if you are military and love military doctors, it's just not for me. Um, so, and the other hospital there also did not have great reviews. So, I just decided um, to come back home for my doctor's appointments. So, I was seen at... Um, Palmetto Health Richland, which now they're, they have a new name. I don't know what it is, but, um, and that's in, that's in Columbia. And I saw Dr. Boggs and it's Women's Physicians Associates there. Um, and it was amazing. I loved Dr. Boggs. Um, she was great, made me feel so comfortable. But, yeah, when I went to the army the military doctor I was supposed to be getting my um 20 week anatomy scan and that is an ultrasound and they were saying that they don't do ultrasounds unless you are high risk and that um they play with monopoly money like saying like they don't have the money and the equipment to just give your average pregnant woman an ultrasound which I had insurance everything so like I just did not like that and then you walked in and like an army suit the boots and all and that just was not for me I was I just want a doctor in a doctor's coat and yeah I didn't not like that but yeah so got seen at women's physicians associates dr. Boggs um, and everything was perfect fair my whole pregnancy with Farah I was so tiny pretty much just belly I will put in some pictures at the end of this video if you want to see um I started off 118 pounds and I got to one I say 148 
So I didn't gain too much weight. Um, and like I said, I was pretty much all belly. Um, and that was a great pregnancy. I didn't have morning sickness. Um, this is kind of TMI, but whatever. I only felt sick when I was having intercourse with my husband. So I don't know if that's like a normal thing. Um, but every time we would have intercourse, I would need to throw up. Like, it was not fun or attractive, but it is what it is. Stop, Nugget. Stop, buddy. Um, so yeah, so I had to move. Miss Avery needed my attention. Can you say hey? Can you say hey, guys? Say hey. So back to Farah's birth. Um, so I was staying the last two weeks before I was due. You have to go into the doctor, um, every week. So I decided to stay at my grandma's house in Lugolf, um, just so it was easier on me. I wasn't working or anything, so it was definitely doable. Um, so I stayed there because my appointments were in Columbia and the going back from Fayetteville to Columbia was just like not fun. Um, so stayed there. I ended up, like I said, going into labor on um, it would have been the 21st of March. It was 9 p.m. And I just felt weird. I didn't really know, like, what a contraction was supposed to feel like. Like, I was 19 years old. No one I knew was pregnant. I was the first pregnant one out of, like, all my friends. Still, like, hardly any of my friends have kids, but... I just, like, I didn't know, like, what a contraction was supposed to feel like. I wasn't having Braxton Hicks during my pregnancy. Um, I'm yawning so much. I don't know why. But, so I just remember, like, I could not lay still. Like, I would try and lay down and relax, and I just couldn't. I was like, I have to get up. Like, this is not... This is not okay. Like, something is wrong. So, I just remember walking up and down the hall, like, a million times. And then, um, I told my husband, I was like, we need to go to the hospital. And he was like, are you sure? Like, call your doctor. So, I called my doctor, and she was like, you aren't dilated at all your whole pregnancy. Um, I think you should probably try and take a hot shower relax and I'm like oh my god okay so I tried to take a shower I couldn't do it like I got in I like immediately got out I was like no like I don't want to be like dilating so much and then I get there and can't have an epidural um so I we got in the car and rushed to the hospital I got there and I was only one centimeter um <clears throat> and they said that I could stay for an hour and if I dilate to two centimeters that they would let me stay so ended up staying an hour I dilated again thank goodness so I got to stay <clears throat> and so then just trying to think of what was the whole process y'all this was four years ago but I remember they put whatever medicine in my arm that I felt like I needed. <clears throat> um, when I got to, I think it was like four or five centimeters, they gave me my epidural. And it, nothing, it was not that bad. Like, because I went in so early and got the medication, like, I really did not feel any pain, like, at all. Like, the contractions on the way to the hospital hurt, but not, like, that it felt like period cramps um so then after I got my epidural I ended up having her the next morning at 
eight twelve, and oh. she was um she was seven pounds fourteen ounces nineteen inches long, <clears throat> and I pushed maybe three times and she was out like it was perfect my mom and my husband's mom were in there my mom ended up scaring me because my heart rate was going up so it was making the baby's heart rate go up and my mom was like oh like freaking out and i was like mom shut up like you're scaring me <clears throat> and so that was the only like scary part was when my heart rate went up and my mom was like I couldn't see. You can't see what's behind you. So, like, my monitors and stuff, I couldn't see any of that. So, I didn't know what was going on. But my mom's eyes were getting big. And I was like, okay, something's wrong. Um, but, yeah. So, I ended up, I had her. Um, so, I was in labor, let's see, 9 o'clock at night till 8 that next morning. So, 11 hours. But, like, active labor, like, pushing maybe 20 minutes like it was awesome um and then we stayed the two days and came home and yeah that was it it was pretty amazing um but yeah if you guys have any questions about birth or any of that just let me know i plan on doing avery's birth story um hers was a little different but it was still great. But yeah, stay and see the pictures of me pregnant um, if you'd like. And if you have any questions, I'd love to talk and help you out. But thank you guys for watching.